Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So this is, I think, my first video using my heat press. I've used my heat press before, but not uh, doing a tutorial. So if you follow me, you know I'm not, um, I get scared with HTV on clothing. I do a lot of HTV on paper and doing, you know, different things where you, it doesn't have to go through the wash. <laughs> I'll do it on jackets, backpacks, because um, I feel like I just need to get the heat on there to get the glue going, the, you know, get it activated. Um, but anything that goes in the wash really terrifies me because I've done shirts for my daughters. The, you know, a unicorn spiral will fall off inevitably, uh, a flower petal. So, um, but I'm here because I've teamed up with Poly Tape, and they have given me a lesson. I mean, check this out. There's notes on top, there's info. <laughs> so let me tell you a couple tips. Um, so first off, we're doing a shirt. So I'm gonna move this over so you can see my shirt. I'm just gonna put it down just so that you can see it. So my heat press is hot. Um, I do like to fold my t-shirt in half so that I know where my middle line is. I mean, granted the, um, you know, the gap right there, the logo, right, will tell me where it is in the middle, but I still just, because unless I line this up completely um, perfectly, I still like that line in the middle. So the line is coming down like this, and this is my beautiful design that I got on Etsy. So it's still June, so love is love, and I am layering all of the um, colors of the rainbow on top, and so it's gonna look like this going up, okay? So I'll show you what that looks like. Now, um, do not pre do not layer it like I'm doing right now and pressing it because all of this, you see all the transfer paper, um, all you're gonna be doing is ironing on the vinyl onto this layer. So for instance, this yellow layer is my most top layer right now. It's got the transfer sheet on there, right? So if I go and I put this down and I layer it and I press it all like this, only my red layer will be touching my t-shirt. All the other layers are touching the transfer sheet. Um, and it seems so obvious and it's not that you do it um, on purpose, but I can't tell you how many times I've layered stuff and still somehow get a little bit of the HTV onto my transfer sheet from another piece when I'm doing multiple layers. So I'm super excited to do this one because it's gonna look like this. So the reason why I put it down like this also is I wanna be about an inch and a half from the, from the top. And so I need to move this whole thing up. So I'm just going to do this. So I can see I'm going to be layering the red first. So I kind of want to get an idea of where it's going to be. So it's going to be right around here. All right. So now that I have this, I'm going to take the other layers out and I'm going to line this up. So my heart is basically the middle because love is on both sides. So obviously it's even. All right. So here we go. This is <laughs> I get so nervous with HTV. All right, it's at 320 degrees. It's for 15 seconds, but the 320 degrees at 15 seconds is for your final layer when everything is on. So everything else is going to be about three to five seconds. So I'm here we go. One, two, three, four five all right the other thing some of so like i said i was telling you i took notes right and this is a warm peel and i'm just gonna let me see okay oh look oh my gosh oh this red is so pretty i'm looking at the camera to see if you can if you guys can see it oh my gosh it's gorgeous okay i'm absolutely in love okay so I always use a Teflon sheet in between because once I have, once I take off the, the carrier sheet, I get really nervous about burning my vinyl. I know, I'm just like such a worry wart. Um, I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna layer it. It's not supposed to shrink or anything. I should be able to put it on and it should look good. Um, this covers almost the whole thing, but I'm gonna grab a Teflon sheet really quickly. 
which I should have had when I was out already, so I apologize. All right, here we go. So I'm just gonna put it down like this to cover the bottom of the red. I know, I'm such a nervous Nelly. All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. All right, here we go. And I do, so I bought this one without really knowing why I purchased it, like, you know, why I chose it. Um, but I do like this one as opposed to the clamshell one because you can see I can move the whole thing. The other one, every time I watch people do the videos, I'm so nervous that they're gonna accidentally hit it up here. <laughs> and, oh my gosh, look at this. It's so beautiful already. All right, let me see what else on my notes. Oh, this is a good one. Don't wash it for 24 hours. So just like how we let things cure with regular vinyl, adhesive vinyl, you want the same thing with your HTV, apparently, and I didn't know this, um, it shouldn't go in the wash right away. Um, I don't know, seems obvious maybe? I don't know if you do or not, but that's a new best practice that we are implementing. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna do this. Oh my gosh, I thought my thing fell off, but that's my weeded part. <laughs> okay, ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And then also, you know, like when you take it off right now and you're, you're pulling off this layer, the transfer sheet. Oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. The other thing um, that they told me is because we're pulling it up, um, even though the HTV is down, we sort of messed with the stickiness and I don't know, that whole process of really pressing down. So you should, after you peel this off, do another post press to really get it sealed down because we've kind of like um, pulled it a little bit, you know, caused a little bit of tension um, for the HTV to, you know, possibly lift a little bit. So I am doing everything that I can to make sure that our HTV is down good. <laughs> So right now, let me see, that's a big chunk, okay. Everything has been layering really, really well and I haven't seen any, I mean, they told me there's gonna be no shrinkage, but you know, you still just always wanna check, right? Okay, here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> It is so cute. This design is so cute. I got it on Etsy. I absolutely love it. Okay, here we go. Just two more layers. We've got the blue and then the purple, and then we're gonna do our final press. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. All right, last layer coming. And let me know if you see some other cool design. When I saw this one, I just absolutely wanted to do it. It's just everything adorable. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna peel it off, and then I'm gonna put the Teflon sheet on top and then I'm gonna do it for the full, um, the full time, which is 15 seconds. 320 for 15 seconds. Oh my gosh. Oh, you can see it. It just looks like that holographic glitter um, sticker, like right here, this middle part. Oh my God, love it, love it, love it. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. and we'll put it for the full time. All right, so that's gonna go. Let me see if I have any other notes for you. Um, post press for a few seconds. So actually, I guess I'm doing a little bit backwards because I 
because this this um, transfer sheet was still on there. So, oh, that was fast. All right, let's see our shirt. Yeah, nothing's coming up. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, let me know what you guys think, what you wanna see, you wanna see more layering. I'm up for the challenge, even though it makes me nervous the whole time. I'm gonna wear this shirt, I'm gonna keep washing it. Hopefully you guys are gonna see how well it holds up. Um, this is gonna be a fun test challenge. All right, see you guys.